All right, we are out here at Chester Saw now. That's 13716. This one's got 3,100 square feet, a little bit smaller, a little more outdated. Uh, the roof seems to be in pretty good shape. I didn't see a time on that. I'll have to check again. Um, quick look around the neighborhood here. A little more quiet back here. Nicely manicured lawns. Um, the HOA is only a little over $500 annually. There's no CDDs here, of course. Three car garage on this one. Um, so let's take a look at the inside. Just a little outdated, probably gonna have to redo some carpet, but I love these big entryways. These huge double doors are very nice. <clears throat> so as you walk in, you've got a huge um, living room area here, formal living room. Um, which also, you know, includes a little dining room area here as well. And the layout of the house is split floor plan. So you've got your master bedroom that way. And you've got your additional bedrooms back that way, including the kitchen as well. So let's go check out the master suite first real quick. Um, it does come with sort of an, another room on the master suite, which you can turn into an office. It's got this nice wood built in here on the side. So we'll walk around and take a look at that. Uh, walking into the masters, you can see there's some stains on the carpet. Pretty good size, though. I think this would probably fit your guys' furniture. Uh, definitely not as big as the last master bedroom that you've seen, but uh, yeah, good size. You got this nice floor to uh, floor window here. Um, you got uh, one sink out here, and again, this has got the car weird, weird carpet um, kind of sink combo here. And uh, here's your walk in closet. You got this little built in here um, and it kind of goes back there pretty, pretty good size so let's take a look at the bathroom you got another vanity in here big tub with a walk-in shower a little tight in there not not too bad though not too bad so let's look at the office space unfortunately there's no light in here uh, but nice vaulted ceilings good size in here um nice spot for, to have a uh, to have an office so walking back through and you get that nice pool nice little backyard back there let's walk through the rest uh, walking into here you've got the kitchen on the left it's pretty good size um, not a ton of counter space, unfortunately, or not a ton of, uh, um, um, cabinet space, unfortunately. I mean, this, this kind of makes up for it here, but you have this nice little bar and there's plenty of room here to put a nice, uh, like a nice island or something to add to the counter space. Um, and I guess, I mean, you've got these cabinets over here as well that you could use. Um, yeah, plenty of storage in these. Didn't even see these back here, honestly. And another little desk area. And I believe your another linen closet here. And couldn't figure out how to turn the light on in here, but this is the laundry room. Oh, actually here it is. It blends in with this uh, wallpaper here. But yeah, good size sink. They even fit a fridge in here as well. So let's take a look at the garage real quick. And you get a bunch of stuff in here still, but yeah, two car garage. Um, attic access right there looks like it's probably gonna have the stairs more cabinets up here um, let's keep walking through we'll go to the family room in just a second let's swing over here and look at these other two bedrooms yeah these are very good size I mean you could fit this is about the same size as the master bedroom almost very good size um, you could fit a queen king in there comfortably and some pretty good sized furniture. And this has a dual vanity over here, um, with a full, full chub tower, uh, shower combo and another bedroom that's matching size with the, with the double closets there. And let's take a look at the rest. I love this, uh, family room here. It's got the nice vaulted ceilings with this cool wood beams going across more, um, foldable doors here. Um, yeah, very good sized patio out there and another little bar, a little outdoor kitchen area. It's got your fireplace, the wood paneling. Let me see. One more bedroom back here, a bit smaller than the other two. Could still fit a full bed in here pretty comfortably. 
And last bathrooms back here on the back. This can also be the pool bathroom. Oh, it is a full bathroom too. So you get a walk-in shower and um, this will go out to the pool. So this could be the pool bathroom. Uh, let's go back through and see if we can get outside real quick. Kind of give you an idea. The lay of the land out there. Yeah. Another little storage closet out here for pool equipment. You've got a little you know, outdoor kitchen. A swing set back there. Nice, nice amount of space on the sides. Got a nice privacy fence all the way around. Let's go take a look at the other side. And this one's sort of over some trees as well, so probably get some leaves on the roof. Here's the pool equipment. This big tree here. Fence is looking a little dilapidated on this side here. <clears throat> so yeah, I mean, you probably want to trim down some of these trees here to keep any premature wear on the roof there from happening. Um, big AC unit over there. Pool pump seems to be working okay. You can see it's really rolling the water right over there. <clears throat> yeah, just a little bit of updates on this one. You know, probably needs at least new carpets. Uh, carpets are pretty pretty well stained um, Other than that, I know you guys like the older style. It's a very good size house I think this one will also fit all your furniture um, Oh, yeah, some skylights in here. I forgot to mention and uh, That is pretty much it guys Let me know what you think